Hello and welcome to ETI 4448. In this session, I will cover uh, the or I will go over group presentation. Uh, you need to schedule your presentation as soon as possible. If you did not, please um, uh, you can email me uh, to ask for uh, the uh, slots that's available, the time slots that's available for you to present. Uh, to uh, you will find under the course news. Uh, the schedule uh, which is uh, which will be similar to the one shown below uh, to schedule your presentation send me an email with the following information first I need your group number uh, your course name and number since we have senior design 1 and senior design 2 so I need you to specify if you are senior design 1 or 2 and then the project title and then short description of your product and uh, team members uh, team member names and email addresses <coughs> the presentation will be in the ATC building room 104H or uh, the AVP uh, uh, conference room the AVP conference room 104 suite within the 104 suite you will find a room that's dedicated for the presentation all group members have to be available 15 minutes before their scheduled presentation. To attend other groups presentation, please let me know and I can arrange for you to attend the presentation. You can learn how other people are presenting before your presentation if you would like to do that. If you cannot attend in person your own presentation, if you cannot attend uh, or present uh, in person you can participate with the presentation through Skype or through the phone uh, but I want everyone in the team to participate in the presentation I want you to see active within the group the presentation has to be 15 minutes long uh, we will have another five minutes like for discussion and, uh, and uh, questions uh, don't use dark backgrounds um, that will not show uh, the text um, or uh, you know uh, back uh, uh, pictures or uh, background uh, colors um, that will uh, be very very hard to recognize the text um, don't use busy slides lots of words and um, lots of text with no explanation on what's going on uh, I don't need that I want uh, more of um, like uh, if you have uh, drawings designs prototype uh, talk about uh, talk more about your products and um, uh, the work that's been done more than just um, text and you are trying hard to memorize the text and you cannot even memorize it uh, you don't need to read from um, uh, like an index card uh, write the information on index card don't do that just uh, try to believe in your product be yourself and talk about the product uh, uh, you know just uh, as straightforward as you can uh, any text that you use has to be clear uh, everyone in the group has to participate so if you have 15 slides then uh, each one of the team will present five slides or so uh, if you use charts tables figures uh, anything that has uh, writing in it make sure that the writing associated with that figure or with that chart is um, um, showing uh, it, it appears or it's uh, clear large enough to read uh, you know of course um, we need uh, everybody to come with professional professional attire uh, to present in uh, uh, a proper manner and um, that's like preparing you for the work environment and how are you going to present in front of uh, a team in the future uh, in front of your managers and uh, in your company in the future what to include in the presentation I need to see the product description uh, you can include in the product description uh, what created the need for that product how did you come up with the idea or if someone gave you the idea uh, why it's important to uh, address that uh, need and um, I need product design uh, if you have drawings that's been done by hand or by CAD 
or by SolidWorks or by any uh, drawing or designing software uh, I would like to see that I would like to uh, see um, uh, any related material to the product design um, you need to add or include description of the key innovation or innovations and its advantages over existing competitive approaches or products uh, what distinguish your product from other uh, products in the market um, if there are um, any then you can explain you can um, uh, present and explain for me why your product is different if uh, there are um, no other products that's similar to your products at least uh, give me the uh, closest uh, product to your uh, or the, uh, the closest uh, item to your product um, you need to describe your product potential applications uh, what do we use it for where do we use it um, I need to see also an overview and uh, and the size of addressable commercial market uh, you can use charts or statistics to show me the number of people that will be uh, uh, buying your product that's uh, that is anticipated to buy your product um, uh, you know again you look at other products similar products for example uh, maybe I'm using um, maybe I'm uh, selling or my product is related to cars how many cars in the United States what will be the sale for cars if we have uh, uh, if we can uh, use it or mount it on used cars versus new cars what will be the market for used cars for accessories uh, uh, can we sell it to uh, advanced auto parts or auto zone uh, how easy would that be all this information I need to see it in the size of the market uh, you can say that it's a billion uh, dollar industry uh, you can say that we have uh, millions of people that will be interested uh, and all that has to be based on uh, statistics on uh, charts on uh, true data or real data that exist in the market you need also to identify the channels that will be used to reach to your customers how are you going to reach how are you going, uh, going to make them uh, hear about your product especially if it's a new product that does not exist in the market what do you do what are the different channels that can be used you need to estimate the time um, uh, how did you estimate the uh, activities what kind of activities do we need to build that product um, how did you estimate the duration for each activity uh, what kind of method methodology did you use what will be um, the time estimated to uh, produce uh, like one item from that uh, product and what will be the cost associated with that what kind of methodology did you use to estimate the cost um, did you use uh, like similar information from other products or uh, did you uh, uh, just uh, get quotes from uh, different uh, suppliers or uh, contractors what did you do to estimate the cost um, and the milestones that's completed up to uh, the presentation date uh, and uh, uh, of course the milestones uh, that should be completed next semester and next semester you will be testing the product uh, you will look at the bill of materials what kind of material you're going to use for that product uh, you will be looking at the suppliers that will provide you with the material uh, we will be looking at mass production estimation of time and cost uh, you will be, be looking at um, the uh, reliability uh, maintainability of the product uh, at the organizations that will be uh, uh, that you have to comply with uh, in your product if you have to comply with uh, uh, federal regulation or FDA or uh, the National Health uh, Institute or any other organization you have to find uh, the uh, different organizations or federal rules or policies or regulations that is attached or that will be related to your product uh, and then develop marketing material 
such as brochures, website, or other uh, material like user manual or technical manual. All that should be completed next semester. So the next semester, this is those are the tasks that should be completed. I need you to add that within your presentation. Um, I expect you to uh, provide me with an initial prototype of the suggested product. I need to see something. Um, I need to see at least, you know, something 3D printed or assembled or uh, whatever you do to build that product. Just bring it to me, show it to me as a proof of concept so I uh, can understand what do you mean by this product and how does it work. Uh, if you want, you can bring your presentation before ahead of time to my office and you can practice. Uh, we can adjust the uh, PowerPoint uh, before your uh, final presentation. So when you present in front of the committee, actually you will be um, uh, more um, confident and you will know what you're talking about. I can assist you uh, in doing a better presentation and in learning how to present in front of uh, a committee of people. So if you want, you can bring your presentation. Uh, we can uh, practice, uh, make sure that uh, you know what you're doing, you know how it's been done, and uh, present better in, in front of the uh, committee. That will be all for this session. If you have any questions, you can either email me or you can come to my office for uh, additional uh, questions. Thank you and have a great day.